Hey everyone, and welcome to episode three of Minecraft Houghton College. I'm your host, Jeff Babbitt, and I'm pleased to share with you my next completed building of the Houghton College campus. So here we're looking at my first two buildings. Uh, this is the Lucky Memorial Building, uh, my first ever large-scale Minecraft build. Here is my second, the John and Charles Wesley Chapel. And for my third building, I'm pleased to show to you the Willard J. Houghton Library. Let's get on down to ground level and take a look. Just to the left of the library, you can see the beginnings of the Chamberlain Center. I built some of the exterior of the Chamberlain Center at the same time as the library because the two are connected via a bridge and I wanted to make sure the connection would be accurate. So here we are, the, uh, the famous circular uh, brick sidewalk here and some nice foliage in front of the library. Here is a ceramic mural that was constructed by former art professor Gary Baxter. Very nice uh, artistic addition to the exterior of the building. Now back when I went to Houghton, this fancy entrance wasn't here. This was part of an addition uh, that was put on um, the last time the library was renovated. One of the cool things about Minecraft is that you can fly. So I'm gonna take you up on a little jaunt here to survey the front section of the library. Some cool uh, meeting rooms up here. Of course, the roof will get up there later. So let's take a gander inside. Here we are, the main level of the library. Here's the main circulation area. If you want to check out a book or a movie or some other such learning resource, Got some nice seating areas, some student study areas. Here is a little area for reading current magazines and newspapers. I believe that's what this still is. Over here we have the college's uh, video collection. You can check out your favorite movie on DVD. And let's see, the last time I was in here, which was probably a while ago, uh, I think this is the reference section. We've got some uh, computer terminals here. You can see the, the advanced up-to-date technology that Houghton College provides. Here's a little uh, enclosed group study room here. Pretty exciting stuff. The library, the last I was there, had a nice collection of Ben Frank Moss abstract paintings right about here. Here are some offices. I believe this is or was the library director's office. Nice corner suite here. I struggled a bit with the interior of the library. The exterior came together pretty quickly in just a day or two. But the inside, I just could not remember uh, where uh, and how things were placed uh, exactly. But I did discover a few days ago that the library website has detailed floor plans for the lower level, the first level, and the second level. So those helped me immensely. Let's take a look at the second floor. And here we go. One of the uh, signature locations on the second floor is this nice little study room. This was part of the most recent renovation. Uh, has just stunning views of the, the quad, uh, Lucky Chapel. Uh, eventually, I will put in the Center for the Arts and East Hall. Sorry, Gillette Hall now. And here uh, in this room, this is also uh, a place where Many paintings from the Ortlip family are displayed. The Ortlip family uh, is uh, an artistic family uh, in Houghton's history. Uh, so this is a nice, nice little study area for students. Of course, lots of books over here. Uh, here's a little cool area uh, where there is some exposed Houghton signature creek stone with a little seating 
area here, so a nice place to uh, to come and, and study. There are a couple of rooms here. I think I left one out. Uh, I just didn't have space. Uh, but here is a little computer lab slash training room. I've had some computer trainings here back in the day when I used to work at the college. Uh, this is a cool little room. Oops. Let me fix that. Cool little room called the Wesleyana Room. Uh, Houghton is a Wesleyan college. And this room, I believe, has some uh, just notable historical artifacts and records from the Wesleyan Church and some nice seating and some wood paneling and kind of a cool view of, of the side of, uh, out the side of the building here. All right, let's actually head to the basement and take a look down there. And we'll take a different stairway here. This is a neat little stairway, elevator as well. And I love the glass and close in encased side here. Uh, out this way will be the Payne Center for Science eventually. But again, another, another nice view of uh, a portion of the quad there. Uh, all right. Oh, I can't get to the basement from here. Sorry, getting a little lost. We'll take the center staircase to the basement. Maybe that does go to the basement. I should check that out. No, I don't think it does. All right, here we have the, the children's library. The library of uh, children's books, some seating here. Here is a room that I saw on the floor plan that I never knew existed. This is called the binding room. Uh, I think this is a real place. It's on the floor plan. I don't know what a binding room looks like. So I added some pedestals with books and a work table. Oh, and I also threw in the secret diary of Willard J. Houghton here. I've never read it before. It is a secret diary. Um, and here's it. Here's where, uh, at least legend has it, the secret diary of Willard J. Houghton is located. By the way, Willard J. Houghton is the founder of Houghton College. Uh, I believe he... He attained a third grade education and went on to found Houghton College. Here's the archives uh, of Houghton. Uh, I've been in here a few times. This is a fun place. Lots of books and pictures and artifacts of the college's history, some more um, paintings, uh, many Ortlip family paintings, some chests with hidden Houghton treasures. Uh, here I put a uh, uh, here's a, a bust of Willard J. Houghton with his boyhood fishing rod and his, uh, his pet dragon that he had back in the day. So the archives is a fun place if you ever get to visit. Let's head up to the third floor. The third floor was put on the building uh, fairly recently-ish, maybe in the early 2000s. And the third floor currently houses the departments of religion, philosophy, and biblical studies and theology or something like that. And also has some classroom and meeting space. Uh, here's a drinking fountain if you're thirsty. Here's another fun little room overlooking the quad. This is a meeting room. I've had a number of meetings in here. There might also be classes that are held in here. Uh, Cool, cool space. Some classrooms and offices down this way. I don't think I got the right number of offices. Um, I, I couldn't find uh, a detailed floor, floor plan of the third floor. Here's a fun little classroom. I've had some staff meetings in here when I worked at the college. Now one interesting architectural component of uh, the third floor is that some of it is raised. I'm not sure exactly why, um, but there's a ramp here and a stairwell to get up to this section. This is where uh, faculty offices are. Here's the office for the administrative assistant for the department on this floor. There are some uh, old antique Bibles that have uh, 
at least when I've been in, in this office, have been in here. Those are cool to, to look at. Uh, here's the office for the chair of the department. Uh, a little fancy office here. Yeah, the ceiling's pretty low here because I had to had to um, bring up the floor one level. Uh, but here we are back to the normal section of the floor. A nice skylight in the center of the building here. Uh, cool little seating area. And another classroom. Did you take Zico? I did not. Okay. Okay. All right. And what else did I want to show you up here? Oh. Here's where the bridge is that connects to the Chamberlain Center. And this was interesting to build. It's interesting to build diagonals in Minecraft. Uh, but I, I think this turned out fairly well. And here's how much of the Chamberlain Center I've completed. Uh, again, just enough so that I could connect, connect it with the, the library, library via the bridge. Uh, so this will be my next building, uh, the Chamberlain Center. Oh, this is fun. Get to climb on top of the bridge. So I've actually been on the library roof a few times. Uh, the most recent time was to take pictures at one of the college's graduations. Uh, I cornered some maintenance men and they agreed to take me up to uh, the roof of the library to get some pictures uh, of students lining the quad as they were preparing to enter uh, enter uh, the chapel for graduation. So this is a pretty cool space up here. And uh, maybe I shouldn't show you this, but this is how you get up or down. Uh, there's a little trap door here and it takes you, see if I can get down here. Come on, come on, yeah. Takes you to a, uh, just kind of, the, kind of an indiscreet Custodial closet that has a ladder up to the roof. All right, so that's the library. In every build that I've made so far of the Houghton campus, I've included a super secret location um, in the chapel. It was the Anne Can It Be room in Lucky Memorial. It was uh, a mausoleum in the underneath a basement where the deceased presidents were buried. And for the library, I didn't create a super secret room, uh, but I did create a super special area, and it's around back here. So Willard J. Houghton was actually a farmer back in the day. I'm not sure what he farmed, but I do suspect that he had animals on his farm. So I put in a Willard J. Houghton Memorial Petting Zoo here, uh, affectionately dubbed Uncle Willard's Petting Zoo and added some fun little animals out back for the children and the students to come hang out with uh, during the day or evening as it were. So we've got a donkey, we've got some pigs, some chickens, and a sheep there. So here you go, this is the Willard J, oh hey little friend, I should name all of these guys. The Willard J Houghton Library at Houghton College, my third building on the Houghton College campus. Like I mentioned, my next building will be the Chamberlain Center. Uh, the exterior is already started. The building is already connected to the library, so this one makes a lot of sense to do next. I think after Chamberlain, I'm gonna head back toward the chapel and do uh, the Center for the Arts. And perhaps after that, I, I will come back around this way and do Fancher Hall and then maybe the Payne Center for Science. So that's what I'm thinking. Thanks for uh, watching this video. If I was a true YouTuber, I would say, click the button to subscribe, but I don't even know how to do that, and uh, I'm not a true YouTuber. So hopefully you'll join me next time. If you missed the, the videos that uh, walked us through the Lucky Building and the Chapel, uh, you can find those on my Facebook page or YouTube channel. And... Uh, We'll see you next time.